Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing another hairbrush straightening review. But today I'm going to do two. So I was sent a hairbrush straightener from, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm pretty sure it's Ace Vivi. So I'm going to be trying out this straightener compared to this one that was sent to me called Nasby Beauty. So before I begin, I'm going to read off some things that people said I was doing wrong in the last video and I'll make sure to address those issues in this video so that I can get the maximum use out of both of these brushes. So in the last video I got told I was not going fast enough, I was not going slow enough, I was putting too much hair into the brush, I wasn't putting, I need to put less hair into the brush, I didn't have oil in my hair which I stated that I did, that my hair was straight enough and that I needed to wait for it to heat up. I will show you the brush actually heating up and I have some of my hair oil that my sister made for me. I'll put her Facebook link at the bottom of the description box so that you guys could buy your own hair growth oil but I also use this to straighten my hair. Oh I also wanted to address another thing. I'm not wearing makeup in this video so if you guys see my flaws I'm really sorry if that bothers you but my face is breaking out and I did not want to put it any foundation on or anything like that I just threw on some mascara and to address my hair um, I combed it out last night in preparation for this video but then I slept on it wet on accident so that's why it kind of looks a little frizzy but it's combed out right now but we'll talk about that when we get further into the video okay so the instructions on the ace BB directions say please keep your hair dry and neat before using insert the plug into the socket so you hold the power button for three seconds, um, use one hand to pull the end of hair and comb with straightener, and comb with the straightener. I'm, I can tell this is translated from Chinese to English because it's a little, the grammar is a little weird. So it says if you want your hair to last longer, please use a styling lotion or softener or and wash before straightening. I also wash my hair before this. It says do not clip too much hair. If you want to clip more hair, you should slow down the speed. So I'm guessing that means do not put too much hair into the brush. And if you want to, you have to go slower. Um, and then it will automatically turn off after an hour. And that is basically it. So I don't want this video to be super long, so we'll just get started. I'm going to use the Ace BB on the left side of my head, and I'm going to use the Nasby Beauty straightener on the right side of my head. And if I'm saying these wrong, I'm sorry, but there'll be links to both of these brushes down below and we'll see how they work compared to the last one I used and then we'll see how they work compared to each other. So um, I also want to address that these are about the same price as the last one. So I did not get a more expensive one, but because these were sent to me, I wanted to show you guys different brushes compared to the last one I used. So I'll just put up one side of my hair so we'll get it out of the way. And then I'll start off by just combing out this piece in the front. I also wanted to show you guys for the people who said I didn't let it heat up long enough. Um, I don't know if you can see but the temperature climbs as it gets to each heat setting. So it's showing you at what temperature that the brush is currently. So right now it's going up to 149 degrees Fahrenheit and it's climbing. So it will tell you when it has reached the maximum heat setting. And if you guys hear like water spraying, um, our cars are getting washed outside. So the Nasby Beauty one goes to 450 degrees Fahrenheit and the Ace Beauty one goes to 446 degrees Fahrenheit. So similar, just four degree difference. Uh, I'm currently still combing out my hair, but I just wanted to point that out before I get going. Um, also, I'm just going to actually comb out all of my hair <laughs> on this half side of my head so I can do the entire head. The fact that you have to brush your hair out before using these kind of sucks, but like 
it, it'll suck for curly girls. Like if your hair is straight, you can obviously just comb through it and then get going. But um, for curly girls, the brush is not going, the straightening brush is not going to get through your curls. So you will have to pick them out or comb them out, depending on your hair texture. So my hair is a nice giant afro on this side. Oh, and before I start, let me get some hair oil into my hair to protect it. So let's get started with the Ace BB one. This is telling me that it has reached the maximum heat. So let's get going. I'll make sure to address your guys' comments from the last video. I don't really want to go over my hair a lot of times. Let's try this thing. So, so far, kind of getting the same results as last time. Let me go a little bit slower since I'm using a bigger piece of hair. Okay, now this side is combed out. Um, now let's try the hairbrush dryer. I don't know why it's called a dryer because I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to use this when your hair is wet. I'm just going to use a little bit first and then I'm going to go use the whole thing. So this is at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, um, I mean, that did a lot better job than the other one. Honest, I don't like what it looks like per se, but it, that is the straightest that this brush has ever done. I'm going to, I'm going to go back with the Ace VV one and try a littler piece and see how it works. But right now, this one did a pretty good job. This one actually makes my hair a lot hotter, to be honest. Wow, it's a lot straighter. It can't necessarily get my roots very well, but I don't know. Let's try doing more hair. So when you do a lot of hair, you kind of get the results you get over here. Um, but when I did a little piece of hair, it seemed to actually, actually straighten it a lot better, like th this piece. So let me try another little piece. Yeah, I mean, It's okay. It's a lot better than the first brush I tried, and that's for sure. Yes, a lot better. Is this as straight as I would like it? No, but it does a lot better than the first brush. So I'm gonna try the second brush on a littler piece of hair, or the first brush I tried on a little piece of hair. Um, but this one, I would say, did a lot better. See, I don't know if it was that four extra degrees that did better, but, but it did better. All right, so this brush is now heated up. I'm going to use a littler piece this time to give this brush a chance to maybe do something similar to what the Nas V one did. So I would say these one, these two are, are pretty similar in the job that they're doing with my hair. Um, they work a lot better than the last one I tried. So I'll link those down in the description box. But before um, I'm done, I just want to show you guys um, what my hair looks like actually super straight.
Okay, guys. Now, this is a straight. Okay, it's a little oily right now because I did put in that oil, but it. this is as straight as it goes. This is straight, you know? This isn't super straight. It, it does an okay job. It does a better job than the last one, like I've said. So I'm gonna sh curl this piece. Now I'm like cringing at the thought of how much heat I've put on this part of my hair. So you had a night out and your hair is curled. You could take this and brush out your curls and it would be touched up from the day before. Which is good. I'm praying that this piece curls back up. Anyways, thanks guys for watching my second review on the hairbrush straighteners. Um, go ahead and subscribe and comment on this video and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks. Bye.